Welcome back to Networking Fundamentals by Yamaha Commercial Audio Systems. I'm Pat Kalaney. In this video, we'll talk about some basic guidelines in choosing IP addresses for your network. Let's start by identifying some ranges of IP addresses that are reserved for your use on a local area network and why they're reserved for you in the first place. Here I have a diagram similar to what I showed in a prior segment. In this case, a laptop wants to reach a server out on the internet. In this example, our LAN range is 192.168.0.anything. So if a website is hosted out on the internet with an address of 192.168.0.251, would this laptop be able to reach it? So the answer is no. What would happen is the laptop would get the IP address of the server and say, hey, this starts with 192.168.0. That means I contact this device on my local area network, right? It would never go to the gateway and out to the internet. To avoid this kind of confusion, there are ranges of IP addresses reserved for use on the local area network. These addresses will never represent a destination out on the internet. So here are some of the most common ranges. Some of these should be familiar to you, some might be new. Certainly you've seen 192.168.anything.anything. Most routers will default to an address in that range. 10.anything.anything.anything is also reserved for use on a local area network. Now this third one is a little bit trickier. You would have to break out your subnet mask skills if you wanted to use the entire range. But uh, 172.anything from 16 to 31 dot anything dot anything. And then we have 169.254.anything.anything. Now to the right side of this chart, you'll see I've identified a few applications that default into some of these LAN ranges. We'll talk about these in later videos, but I thought it would be worth bringing up just in case some of you are, say, working with the Dante network currently, and if nobody's changed the defaults, your Dante primary network will probably sit in a range of 169.254.anything.anything and your secondary network will probably be in a range of 172.31.anything.anything. So far, we've identified some IP address ranges that are reserved for your use on a local area network, and we've explained why they're reserved for you. Now, let's talk about some IP addresses that should be avoided no matter what your LAN range is. The simple rule of thumb is that you don't want to end your IP address in .0 or .255. The reason why is that these IP addresses tend to have meaning for network infrastructure, and when they do, they're not available to represent devices on the network. So, it's best to just avoid these. Now to clarify, we're only concerned with the use of 0 and 255 in the fourth field of the IP address. You can use it in the other fields, and we're totally fine. Let me give you a couple examples. 10.0.255.15 is an acceptable IP address. Again, we can use 0 and 255 in IP addresses, we just want to avoid it in the fourth field. Likewise, 192.168.1.0 and 192.168.1.255, these are IP addresses we want to avoid using. Again, because 0 and 255 are in the fourth field. Well, that about wraps up this topic. In this video, we identified several IP address ranges that are reserved for our use on a local area network that will never be found out on the internet. We also learned that when we're assigning IP addresses to our network devices, we should avoid addresses that end in .0 and .255. Thank you for joining us, and I welcome you to check out our next video on the router.